In this video, we're gonna compare the Philips Hue Bloom, Go, and Iris. These are three very similarly priced Philips Hue white and color ambience lamps, but they each have a few distinct features that set them apart from one another. All three of these lights support phone control with Bluetooth or a Philips Hue bridge using Zigbee. If you wanna control these lights when you're away from home, then you'll need the Philips Hue bridge in order to control them remotely. These lights are all white and color ambience models, which means they can support all colors of light and white light from 2200 kelvins to 6500 kelvins. The Iris is the brightest at 570 lumens at maximum brightness, while the Go Max is out at 520 lumens and the Bloom at 500 lumens. In the real world, this difference is pretty small, but you can definitely tell that the Iris is the brightest of the three. The Iris and the Bloom both have to be plugged into a wall outlet to be used, but the Go can be powered from mains power or it can run off a battery for up to three hours. This gives it some extra versatility. The Iris is the biggest light with a lens diameter of around seven inches. The Go comes in second at six inches and the Bloom is the smallest at five inches in diameter. The Bloom retails for $80, the Go for $90, and the Iris for $110. The Iris can also be purchased in copper, gold, or silver, but the price then jumps up to $140. All three lamps put out light from the top lens and they sit at about a 45 degree angle, but the Go can also sit flat and point straight up. The lights all look good facing out or pointed towards a wall or a corner to reflect light. The Bloom is solid on the back while the Iris is fully transparent on the back with the translucent element, which gives it a really unique look. The Go has a completely translucent back, which gives it a neat frosted look. I really like how the Go and Iris give that added glow to the fixture. The Bloom X is more of a spotlight with light only coming out in one direction. All three lights are made of plastic, but the Bloom feels like it has a metal back, which gives it the most durable feel of all the lights. The Iris actually feels like the cheapest quality of all the lights, but it probably has something to do with the fully transparent back. So these three lights are all very similar, but I think they each come with some pros and cons. So let's go through the different scenarios in which you would choose each of these three lights. I would pick the Bloom only if you want the smallest possible light and if you don't want a translucent back. It also is the dimmest of all the lights and it doesn't have any battery capabilities. Now the Bloom comes in at $80 and the Go is $90, so for just $10 more, you get that extra battery capability, which can come in handy in a pinch in a power outage, or if you wanna move the light around the house or to a different room temporarily. So I would pick the Go if you're looking for versatility. The battery is really handy if you wanna take the light outside or to a back porch or to a side table or coffee table, or even just to temporarily relocate it. And at only $10 more than the Bloom, it seems like a no brainer to me. I also love that the Go can point at an angle or straight up. So to me, you buy this light if you're looking for versatility. Lastly, I would pick the Iris if you're looking for a statement light. It's the biggest of all the lights and it has such a unique look. I especially love that the lamp changes the color of the entire fixture based on what color you have the light set to. The Iris is the most expensive, but it's also the most unique of the lights. Just make sure that you have the space to fit the larger size. So in conclusion, pick the Bloom if you want a small light with no translucent back. Pick the Go if you want the battery power and the versatility of the angles, and pick the Iris if you want the biggest, most unique looking light. I have links for all three of these Hue lights in the description below, and also check out my channel as I've reviewed each of these lights individually and several other various Philips Hue fixtures as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming tech reviews.